It's a quick look at a cooking set that you may need or want if you're going on camping. Right now, this set I purchased was without the butane canister, so you, you normally get the gas canister with it. So it comes in a nice box, and this one did come in a little package, so you can see the sizing here. There's the box, which I'll get rid of. And you can see here, I like the fact that it's quite compact. So if you can look here, give you a size comparison. That's a normal standard mouse. There's your canister. There's a normal keyboard. And that's kind of how big it is there. Kind of gives you an idea. So this kit does come with uh, two saucepans, I'll call them. I didn't like this though. See, that is all frayed. I think it's just the one I got. But if you use this, look, see it kind of sticks in there. And it's a bit frayed, so I didn't like that. But if you can do get past that, see all that. Um, but yeah, it's a small cage. You basically get rid of the outer cage. Cage. I haven't used it yet, so I can't give you a review on using it. But I will be using it when we're going motorcycle camping, and I'll, I'll give you more information about it. So that's that. And then here you get one canister. What does it feel like? The handles feel quite fragile. However. I think that they're riveted on, so you can see here, they're riveted in, so that is metal, and that is, I use that as a lid, but you can use it as a saucepan as well, and the handles are plastic, coated on metal, and they fold back in, they seem okay, they feel flimsy, but if you're going for lightweight, that's what you get, in this kit, I did get this uh, lighter, the, what do you call this, the hob stove, and the stove was actually quite decent. I wasn't expecting it to have an inbuilt uh, lighting mechanism. And it kind of spins open, if I show you this. It spins open like that. And then you can flip out these out like that. And then on top of that, let me show you a front view. If you look at that small camera, it kind of sits on top like that. So that's like not bad. Let me show you how much distance it covers. That's not too bad. I haven't used it yet, but once I use it, I will do another update and show you how it performs. And then to close it, you can just spin this around, close these off inside, and then put it back in its case. It comes in a nice little orange plastic case. And I was mainly worried about would I be able to get a canister in there. I bought this canister separately. It came with a dent in it. So I wasn't too happy with that. And this is the slightly more expensive one. You can get the normal ones, which are about, well, I can't tell you the price, but uh, these ones are a bit more expensive, but it does fit in here nicely. And the bigger size, this is only 100 uh, grams, is it? Is it weight or milliliters? It's uh, 100, 100 grams, yeah. But you can get 300 gram in here. If you see the pot here, the bottom pot is a bit deeper. You've got 800 milliliters because on the inside it gives you the measurements. And again, this has a slightly bigger handle. So that's a good thing. They're not the same small handles. You see the small one has a small and a big one has a big handle. And then you can hold it in place like that. So I normally interlace something like that. So it's a bit more stronger and it, it's okay. It's good quality. Again, it's riveted in here. So I'm happy with that. And it feels like a good metal construction. For a cheap unit, budget option it is a good one. You'll get a few trips out of it easily. Obviously, if you do it regularly, you might want to get a different one, as in if you're regularly camping, and you might have your gear set out, but the canister fits in nicely. I could fit that back in, and then I could put the lid back in, like that. And it all just becomes a little canister, and then you can put it back into its little cage. And for the compact size, it's actually quite good. And I wouldn't say it's that heavy either, depending on your gas canister, obviously. But there you go. So now I can just have that in one side of the saddlebags on the motorcycle and it'd be perfect. There you go. And I'll pack it out so it doesn't make much of a noise. But that's a quick review on that cooking set, a cheap budget one. Uh, for the price, actually, you know what, it's a good call.